What's up guys, welcome back to JK Fishing and today we're going to be drifting some crayfish under some bobbers, uh, floats, whatever you want to call them for some creek smallmouth. These smallmouth are going to be in what, two, three feet of water Johnny, in Pretty these pockets. Shallow. Yeah, and yeah I'm with you Johnny. <laughs> um, and I got a bucket, Johnny's got a net, that's all you need to catch these crayfish and we, uh, we're, we're catching the crayfish in the same creek where we're fishing for the smallmouth, so it is legal. And uh, these smallmouth love crayfish. We see dead ones floating around the creek all the time. So we know something's eating them. Whatever it is, we're gonna catch it. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, first step in actually uh, catching these smallmouth is gonna be catching the bait. So there's one, I'm gonna dip the net downstream of the crayfish. And they swim backwards. Oh, there's another one. I'm gonna try and push them in. On the rock. There we go, one in the net, guys. He kind of floated in. And that's like the perfect size, eh, Johnny? Yeah. For these smallmouth. You don't want them too big, because remember, the smallmouth are getting this creek aren't uh, aren't that big. But, uh, oh, wow. he's He's got one, like, really big claw and one tiny one. Look at that. Look at that. Right in the net. Just like that. Another guy. Oh, there's a good one. There we go, guys. Look at that one. That's a nice one. All right, guys. So in these crystal clear water conditions, see a lot of these crayfish claws. And there's one on the water over there, too. They really stand out. There's another one out there. Let's see if I can get that glare off. Right there. Here, let me grab it for you guys. It's actually a really decent-sized claw. And that's just fish eating these crayfish. That's all it is, and that's how you know, A, there's crayfish here, and B, the fish are eating them. The big ones we find, um, they obviously are the older ones, so they're the smarter ones who have survived longer. They, we find, live under the rocks, so sometimes when you can't find them, go lifting up rocks, hold your net downstream, and these guys will flow right into it, and these are the good ones. The smallmouth love them. He's going to swim right in the net. He's trying to hit it. <laughs> you need to push him with something. Push him with a hand. Get in there, buddy. There we go. And yeah. then put the rock back where you got it from. Yeah. Flip it over. There you go. It's a nice one. I'm just going to show you how to rig these guys up. So, first thing you do is you rip off the claws, and, uh... You could rip off the whole arm like that. Yeah. Or you could pinch off the claws. Yeah, because that's major... That's one of the reasons why a bass won't hit these is because they'll pinch them, right? And then take your hook. These yeah. The hooks we're using, little live bait hooks. Yeah. And you hook it right through the tail like that. And crayfish, yeah. Side like that. And there you go. Yeah, they, they actually swim backwards, right? So yeah. that's something you got to keep in mind when catching them and when baiting them up. Either I had a leaf flowing behind mine or that was a small move. Really? Yeah, I got follow up. There it is. Got him. Tighten your drag, Keith. He's strong. He is extremely strong. Whoa! You guys see that? That's awesome. Oh my, this is a strong fish, Johnny. This is a really strong... Oh, this is huge. Johnny, this is huge. He's smaller than you think. He's just a strong fish. I love these things. You feel everything on them. Now I know why you come to the creek all the time to catch these. Unbelievable. I'm running six pound floor. Oh my goodness. Guys, guys. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, he's going to wrap me up. He's going to wrap me up. Oh, my. He's swimming against the current. Oh, my, guys. This is awesome. This, this, is, this is a pretty good incredible. Size. The colors. Everything about these fish. You know, most people fish creeks for trout. No, we fish them for smallmouth. Right, Johnny? Yep. That's, that's, that's incredible. This is unbelievable. Is oh, my goodness. What a hit. Literally right away. This thing just inhaled it. 
Okay, we are, we're using the little uh, net that we use for the the crayfish here, but look right in the top of the net. Right milk. in the top. Let me lift them. What? There you go, guys. Hot stomach on this thing too. Look at it, Joe. Twist it around. So you see the belly first. Look at that, guys. That's uh. You've been eating a lot of crayfish. Beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. Let's get a photo here quickly, and then we'll get them right back in the water. And when you hold them in the water, their colors come back. And guys, that is beautiful. Look at that. Right, give them a kiss and then. There she goes. Look at that. Unbelievable. They sure just. Oh, there you go. Another one. Oh. Look at that. Did you put this? I ri the tail ripped a little there. I'm sure, going to try to so reuse no, this. I'll, I'll <laughs> Look at my guy go in the water right now. Look at him go, look at him swim. I, t I took a big one. I've been getting hits on the small ones, and I think that's what works here, but why not hook a 10 pound large, a smallmouth in this creek, eh, Johnny? Yeah. Let's beat the Ontario record. He is frisky right? too, that's the best part. Oh, my crayfish just flew off. <laughs> oh my goodness, I got one. Oh, did you, see, did you see that he followed it? I missed the hook set, and the fish followed it as I was bringing it in. Yeah, Yo, fish, guys. These smallmouth are crazy. There's like a school of smallmouth over there, Johnny. Unbelievable. Well, no matter how many times. There. Oh, oh, it's popping under. You miss these fish. Miss them again. Oh my goodness. I, I literally, like, worst hook set possible, and this thing came back as I was reeling it in. It's under again, again. Lost him. Oh my it's, gosh. It's, it's a big cry. It's instant. These things are instant. As it falls. Okay. Oh my god, it went under again. You know but I didn't have the space to set the hook. Fish. See. Got him. Set that hook into him. Just keep that line tight. Height does matter, guys. Look at that. See everything. Oh, he's, he's taking me under the log. Oh my, wow, look at him go. Look at him go. This is a strong one. John, you want to land him over there? No. I might have to... Oh my... Why is he going against the current? He's going against the current under the log. Look at that thing. He's pulling drag against the current. Oh, he's good. He is... Oh my... This is a good one, Johnny. This is a really good one. Really, like, size of the last one, maybe bigger. I, I, I think you're oh, Johnny walking in the water over there. Okay, you ready? This is the big one. This is a huge one. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Oh my goodness, he's crazy. He's trying to wrap me up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, what a fish. What a fish, guys. Unbelievable how he kept fighting against the current. Johnny, these fish are just unbelievable. I've said that word a million times now, but it's justified because holy cow. Oh, Got him. Another one. Wow, they are just ferocious in that pocket. Yes, I'll need a net. This is a good one. Another good one. Watch all three of these be the same one. They just keep, they're getting bigger right now. Holy cow. What a fish, guys. What a fish. Yeah. All right, John, you ready? Oh, wow. Take him under the log. Just brutes. They like they're going against the current. Ready? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my, goodness. <laughs> oh my rod out so far to keep her from going in there. We didn't even bring a landing net. We brought that, expecting to usually we grab them with our hands, but these ones are just so big today we can't risk it. Same spot. Hook set again. Beauty. Any other hook marks on her or no? 
So they're all different fish. All on the top of the mouth, I guess you got to go from height and you got to get the big craze. That's what's going to get you the big smallmouth. So I'm going to show this one to the camera too. That's uh, three fish in like 10 minutes, guys. That's a, wait, let me get close up. That's a beautiful smallmouth, guys. That's the biggest one yet too. Oh, I missed him. Took me under. How's this guy doing? He's good, okay. Instant hit. Oh, these are small ones, I bet. Look at him, look at him right now. He came off the hook and then I snagged him, Johnny. What? Yeah, they're active right now. Got him. Big, 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 big. That's all I can say right now, guys. This is a big fish. You can take my net out long. Yeah, I'll need the net. Biggest one today. Really? Yeah. Holy jeez, he's got, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness, guys, you see this right now. How low I'm getting, oh my goodness. He almost wrapped me up in that log there. He almost took me under because this thing's ginormous. This thing, this thing's like two pounds. And my reel right now is like seizing up on me. It's the best part. Yeah, this one is the biggest of the day. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my goodness. Holy. Yeah, I'm trying. He's Johnny. He's going to pull me in that tree. Ready? Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Please, please get him in the net here. He's coming. <laughs> They're so big. This is the fact that that thing's living in a creek like this. Look him on the outside of the mouth. No way. So he's barely hooked. All right, let me grab him. Here, hold my rod. Wow. Guys, look at the hook. I'm trying to show you guys this. Look where the hook is. Barely in there. Just barely in there. And that thing friggin' monstrous for a creek that's not, like, that's uh, narrower than a road. All right, guys, I'm just sitting down on the rod right now. I just broke off. Um, that was the last hook I had, and I really don't feel like uh, tying up again. So, uh, yeah, I think it's time to head out. Uh, we had a pretty su successful day. We were here for, like, I mean, hour and a half, two hours, right? And we had, like, 15 hits, and uh, I brought in four. Johnny was trying out with the fly rod there, and I guess his float was maybe too light. His split shot was a little too light, um, and he wasn't getting on bottom, right? I, uh, I had a heavier split shot and I was able to kind of, my crayfish was kind of like going along bottom and it kind of looked more natural, I guess. Got a better drift and therefore I got more hits and brought in more fish. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like this video, share with some friends, and uh, we'll see you next time on JK Fishing.